what you're going to need is A4 pieces of paper and you're going to fold these in half along the length until you have about 10 to 20 pieces of paper folded. This is totally dependent on how big and thick you want the notebook to be. When you have as many as you like, cut these in half and then stack them on top of each other and make four holes through the pieces of paper. Then sew through these holes until you have two pieces of thread running through each hole. When you get to the end and it looks something like this, then you can just tie the ends together using a double knot and then cut the excess off. If you, if you find that you cut too close to the knot, you can use glue just to keep it all together. Next thing we're going to make is a denim pencil case and for this you're going to cut two pieces of jean and then glue three sides together using a hot glue gun or fabric glue. Flip it so that you have the correct side facing you and then glue the right side of both your zipper and the denim pencil case that you've made together. If you find that you take too long and the glue dries out, just use an iron to go over it and it's going to stick again. And if you have to cut off your zipper, then make sure to glue the end together so that your zipper doesn't slide off. Repeat this on the other side until you have the second side of your zipper stuck down. And finally, we're going to personalize it just by doing some simple stitches. I wrote this out in chalk just so I can see what I'm writing and I can follow this and you're supposed to use a back stitch but I was just kind of doing whatever felt right but if you want to do it, do it properly probably use a back stitch and then on the back I just drew this Dorito on there and repeated the whole sewing process again this takes some time but it's so worth it because it's so cute and it's personalized to whatever you want it to say The next and final DIY is a desk organizer from cereal boxes and you're just going to cut these following what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain what this looks like. You can just cut them straight but I thought this looked nicer. Make sure that along the width you've cut your boxes in a slanted line that's straight when you put the boxes together then stick the boxes together for as many boxes as you have and then you can leave it like this because really functionally it's done but you can just cover it in spray paint or normal paint or duct tape really just whatever looks nice to you and this really helps like clear my desk a lot and it just looks super cute and I loved it and I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next week and thank you for watching make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and goodbye